Hi, I'm Francesca, and thanks for joining today's Treadmill Treats. Today, I'd like to talk to you about what recently happened in the news with Alicia Keys' son. He wanted to get his nails painted, and she was okay with it, but then he thought about it, and he was afraid that people were going to judge him or taunt him or tease him, and he decided not to, and she was upset about that because she felt that he should have freedom of expression. I'm all about freedom of expression. I always taught my girls to dance to the beat of their own drummer. Growing up my whole life, I I always danced to the beat of my own drummer. I grew up in a small country town, and you know all of my relatives lived in the city, and so I wanted to live in the city, and so I thought, you know, I was dressed like that. I had you know the Joan Collins hats and the veils, you know, dinosaur reference. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're too old, you're too young. <laughs> And I just did my own thing. Everybody else, you know, I would go out to a bar and everybody else would be in, you know, redneck, you know, flannel shirts and shit kickers, boots. And I would be dressed up with, you know, veils and, you know, matching pocketbooks and, and, and shoes. And I didn't really care what people said. You know, we need to be more compassionate and more tolerant for people that are different. You know, why is it that everybody wants to put everybody in the same box? I, you know, to me, that's boring. You know, the, what makes the world so great is that we have differences. We have different colors and different shapes and different sizes and people that are flamboyant or loud or creative. And that's what makes this world such an amazing place. <clears throat> I always felt that, you know, telling my girls growing up that don't worry about what people have to say about you because there's always going to be people out there that are going to talk about you. There's always going to be haters. And most of the time, the people don't even know you. They don't even know who you actually are. Perfect example is growing up, I was always a tomboy. So all of my friends growing up were, were guys. And when I was in high school, I dated the same boy for six years all through high school, my high school sweetheart. But you talk to anybody in school, everybody said that I was a whore and that I slept with all of my guy friends, you know, that they weren't really my guy friends and I was sleeping with them. But the truth of the matter was, I was a virgin until I was 18 and, and I slept with my high school sweetheart after six years. So people are gonna talk shit no matter what. So just let them talk. And that's what I taught my girls. And you know, who cares what people say? Just do you. You know, God made you wonderfully and perfectly made. And so just do you. You know, don't worry about what people have to say, what people are gonna talk about you, because people are gonna talk about you no matter what. People are gonna say shit no matter what. That whether it's true or not, people are gonna talk shit. And so just who cares? Just be you because you are special, you're unique, you're your own person, and, and we need to encourage that, especially in our children. When my kids were young, I let them have different color hair, I let them have piercings, I let them dress, you know, pick out their clothes, and because to me, that was an expression of, you know, who they were, and you know, who they were becoming, and, and why stifle that? Why say, no, you have to be this, and you, you only can be this, and you know, for so many years, you know, my ex-husband wanted me to be a certain way. He met me and I was loud and I cursed and I, you know, I was, you know, always this positive, outgoing person with lots of guy friends. And he, you know, fell in love with me for that person, but then decided to change me into what he wanted me to be. And so for years, because I was in love with him, I, I wanted to make him happy. So I did, but it made me miserable because I wasn't true to who I am. And you got to be true to who you are, no matter what what it is you have to be true to who you are the the day that I realized that wow this is really suffocating me to death was my friends from New York had came for the weekend and I actually got away with them for the weekend and I got to be me I laughed and I cursed and I was loud and and they loved me because they they loved me with all my f faults and on the way home from that weekend, I got into the car and I started to drive back and I, I started to have an anxiety attack because, and I started to cry because I was like, oh my God, now I have to go back in this box and I don't want to go back in this box because that box was not me. That was what he wanted me to be. And so I, at that point, that was when I realized, you know what, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. 
you know, I need to be me. I need to be true to who I am. So my message today is be true to who you are. Let your children have self-expression. If they want, if he's a boy and he wants to paint his nails, let him. If it's a girl and she wants to wear, you know, boy, who cares? Everybody's different for a reason. And that's what makes this world so wonderful. So be compassionate, be tolerant, you know, just change the world one person at a time. We can all do that. Thanks for checking me out. Check me out on all the social media at Treadmill Treats. Have a great day.